Hi, everybody. So people make a lot of assumptions about me. I'll just give you a second to make your own. <laughs> Okay, uh, now that's out of the way, let's just answer this question. No, I'm not a youth pastor, okay? <laughs> we all see it, though. People say things to my face like that a lot, and they forget that this is where my feelings live. Uh, it's getting a little bit hurtful. Some things that people said to my face, they were like, uh, Ryan, you look like a Republican ventriloquist doll. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound nice. Uh, and also, they were like, Ryan, by four different people, like I told you, you look like a gay Hitler youth. <laughs> wow. Okay. First off, uh, curveball. I'm straight. No one ever sees that one coming. <laughs> and second off, I'm Jewish, okay? So I'm as far on the other end of that. Did they get a woo for Jewish? Woo! Uh, there we go. Don't let them know where we are. Uh, <laughs> that's step one. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I am. But here's the thing, I'm not fully Jewish, I think you can all see that. Uh, I'm Jewish. That's kind of what I'm asking. Uh, probably the only Jew from Missouri, just statistically speaking. <laughs> what I've learned, though, is that since I don't look Jewish, uh, when things go wrong for my people, and historically speaking, they will again. Uh, I'm gonna be a great spy. It's gonna be great. They're gonna be like, uh, Ryan, did you check the synagogue for the Jews? I'm gonna be like, yeah, I did. Super weird. None of them were there. <laughs> That's how we're gonna make it. Um, another thing is uh, just things that I get mistaken for. I, I work at Disneyland, and at one point I got asked if I was the live action version of Christopher Robin. <laughs> it's a cute fun fact though, he's anywhere from five to six years old, so that's kind of hurtful. <laughs> The weirdest thing I ever got mistaken for, though, was a gang member. I got mistaken for a crip. Yes, the ones you're thinking of, I was as shocked as you were. <laughs> uh, now, here's the thing. A shark or a jet, for sure, but definitely not a crip. Because yeah. you can all picture uh, me fight dancing. Like, that's just a thing we see. Like, <laughs> The worst part about it all, though, is uh, I was walking home from my buddy Kevin's house. He lives in an area I describe as a bit gangy, okay? I should have been there. And I'm walking home, and I hear, I see three dudes all wearing blue. And it didn't look like a sale at Target, guys. It didn't look like, let's match, twinsies! Uh, and they yell out at me, yo, Saber, what's up? And I turned around to look for Saber, because I'm pretty sure that dude could mug me, okay? <laughs> look, I weigh 140 pounds. That is two second graders in a trench coat pretending to be an adult, okay? <laughs> So I look back at them, and I think we can all understand that I'm, when it comes to fight or flight, I'm a flight kind of guy. I just book it towards my car, because I'm not going to be there when they figure it out. Now here's the thing, though. What could Saber possibly do for the gang? I bet he does accounting for the gang. I'm sure of it. Are you kidding? He's got to look like me. Yeah. What does that look like? Like, oh my gosh, blow sales are down. How are we going to put hoes in different area codes? Either that or Crips HR. Oh, no, tell me, ladies and gentlemen, who be acting a fool? Like, that's... That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian Kelly. Thank you so much. <laughs>